Hi everyone, it's Tao and I'm back with another one. In today's video, I will be sharing four solutions to annoyances that I've been having on my Android phone. I'm currently using a Samsung Galaxy S9, but I believe these workarounds will work on any Android device. If you're an Android veteran, you may already know these, but honestly, I wish someone had shown me these solutions all in one convenient video. Well, that's what I'm here to do for you today. Let's go. Less clicks to get where I want to go on an app is always welcomed. For example, whenever I open YouTube, I will usually go straight to my subscriptions. Most of us are aware of the app shortcuts that are available when we long press an app icon. However, what if I told you there's a more efficient way? Did you know that you can add shortcuts to specific actions within apps directly to your home screen? For example, I've set up a shortcut to take me straight to my subscriptions page on YouTube. I have another shortcut taking me directly to voice notes and Google Keep since I find that the most efficient way to take down thoughts for my workflow. Most apps have shortcuts to specific actions. So when you long press, simply drag the shortcut directly to the home screen. This can be done directly from the app drawer as well. If you're using Nova Launcher and the shortcut icon bothers you, you can easily change the icon to one you'd prefer. Definitely check out the different shortcuts for your most used apps to see if you can get to where you want to go within the app faster. If you're using Google Keep as your grocery list app, then you know how frustrating it is that Google Assistant does not add items with voice command. It adds it to a web-based shopping list on your Google account instead of adding it to your grocery list on Google Keep. Thanks to James Cox for letting me know about this workaround in my note-taking app video. If you use voice activation on the Google search bar widget, the Google Assistant will add on items to your grocery list when requested to do so. It's not a perfect solution, but at least I can add items to my keep grocery list with my voice. One of the apps I've always wanted to use in Spitview is Instagram. Unfortunately, it's one of the apps that flat out does not work in multi-window. A solution to this problem can be found in the developer settings, which you do have to enable. I'll include step-by-step -step instructions in the description box below. Don't worry, it's super easy to enable. Once it's enabled, scroll all the way to the bottom and enable the force windows to be resizable option. With that enabled, you can now launch pretty much any app into multi-window mode. The Android share menu is awesome and I use it all the time to see articles or share content with friends and family. However, if you have a lot of apps, it can get cluttered very quickly making it hard to locate the app you're trying to share to. A simple solution to this is to utilize the pin feature that is built into the Android share menu. I constantly save online articles to Google Keep from the internet browser, so I want it to always be at the top of the share menu list. To do this, I click and hold the keep icon and then click on the pin option. Now whenever I hit share, keep is conveniently right at the top. Know that some apps seem to use their own built-in sharing system, so it doesn't work for every app. There you have it, the solutions to four annoyances that had made using my Android phone that much more enjoyable. Did you learn something new from the video? Which solution did you find most helpful? Also, if you know any other cool Android tips or tricks, don't be shy, share the knowledge in the comment section. Until the next one, peace. Bye!